Yo, yo, what's up, family? Uh, welcome here live on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. I just want to give you a quick kind of update, recap, what's been happening over the last 24 hours. I'm here right now in Grand Central, believe it or not. Uh, it is, it's been such a great cruise so far. It really has. Mardi Gras has blown it out of the water. Um, so we got here yesterday. We got uh, we got to the ship maybe like 11-ish. Um, our boarding time was 11 to 11.30, and I'm telling you guys, we literally did not stop from the time that we got to Terminal 3 in Port Canaveral, uh, got off the bus, we walked, you know, up the ramp to the, if you've been to Terminal 3, you know it's like several steps up, we walked up that, uh, walked right inside, walked over to the table, where they check your passport documents and your cruise, make sure, you know, everything's good to go there, uh, did that. That's the only time that we stopped. After that, we walked right in through security. Security had no line at all, put the bags through the machine, walked right into the terminal. Uh, we saw our friends kind of sitting over to the side and we were like, hey, oh, we'll go over there. And they were like, no, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, you're boarding now. They literally ushered us right in, right inside. Uh, we went in, did the little facial recognition and got right on the ship. Uh, one of the quickest boardings I have ever had. So job well done to the Carnival team, job well done to Carnival Mardi Gras team, really, for just making it happen here in Port Canaveral. Uh, after that, we got on board, we, uh, we, we headed up top, had lunch at Shaq's Big Chicken. So good, so good to be back. Things were a little busy, I'm not gonna lie to you. On embarkation day, it had me nervous yesterday. I was like, oh my God, is this how the whole ship is gonna be? You know, we heard that it was, uh, that it was at 96% capacity. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, if this is how the whole cruise is gonna be, it's gonna be rough. But I think it was just because everybody couldn't go to the room yet, you know, things weren't ready quite yet. So uh, once that opened up and the rooms opened up, people were able to go there, it was fun. It was great. Uh, everybody was, you know, crowds have dispersed. And today, honestly, like we went up to the buffet for lunch. There's, there's like open seats everywhere and on the pool deck as well, like open seats as far as you can see and the main area as well as, you know, upper decks and then up into Serenity even. So I'm very happy to see that. It looks like, you know, Carnival took a really big emphasis on uh, capacity and, and we couldn't really see that back when we were last on uh, last year because they were saying, I think it was like 60% capacity. But now that they're up to 100, you know, that's one of the things I was nervous about is what is it going to be like? Are the crowds going to be bad? Happy to report so far, so good with that. Um, dinner last night was good. Uh, we, we ended up having the calamari and the tomato soup uh, as an appetizer. Tomato soup was fantastic. Calamari was not good. I'm not going to lie to you. It was not. It was like rubbery and chewy. And it was like an old tire or something. So it wasn't good. Um, but... Everything else was, was really, really good. Uh, our main course was good. It could have been cooked a little longer, so we got the, uh, what did we get? Peter, what did we get for last night for the main course? Peter's back here, by the way. Y'all say hey. Say hey. Beef brisket, that's right, the beef brisket. Um, so we got the beef brisket last night. It was good. It just could have been cooked longer. It would have been more tender and things like that. But then we had the melted cake dessert and that was fantastic. Uh, and then we just finished the night off with some shows, man. We, we, we saw uh, Rock Revolution, we got to see the Walk Over Board Show, Kindle Fire, uh, the cruise director, she is amazing. Everything that I've heard about her is true, and everything that you've heard about her is probably true. She's one of the best in the fleet right now, for sure. If you have the opportunity to sail with her, don't miss out on it. Um, so we saw Rock Revolution, we saw some great comedy last night. We went and tested the fates a little bit in the casino, and I am up right now, so that's good as well. Hey, buddy. There's our wonderful office of the crew. Hey, guys. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that was day one, kind of a, a quick recap for you. Of course, I'll have a full in-depth vlog for you, but I thought I'd just, just shoot this out there because I really, I've been amazed so far. I've been really impressed by the Mardi Gras team and what they're doing. And I think that you should know about that and you should hear that. Uh, I, like I said, I was really nervous with it being 100% a, a capacity, what it was gonna be like, if it was gonna feel too crowded, if things were gonna just be just inaccessible. Happy to report that is not the case. So let me know if you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. Let them know Mardi Gras is the place to be, man. Mardi Gras celebration is coming out real soon. And uh, we'll check back in with you throughout the rest of the week. Until then, my name is Josh. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's been real. It's been fun. This video has been real fun. And I'm going to get back to having fun here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. <laughs>